channel it's Lou if you're new welcome to my channel and feel free to press the subscribe button that's down below and also the bell notification so you guys are notified every time that I post a new video um for today's video is just gonna be a chit chat get ready with me I actually never did one of these because I feel like they would take so long because you would be talking and not doing your makeup and also like I wouldn't know what the fuck to talk about because my life is boring but I don't know we're gonna try it out so I don't know what I'm gonna be talking about and if I don't have anything to talk about y'all probably will be hit with music and I'll probably just like you know fast forward through it but honestly I just might do like a little life update type shit and probably like yeah I could do like a little life update or whatever but let me pin my hair up real quick so it don't get in the way. Oh, that looks ugly. Okay. But yeah, but recently, like, I really haven't been wanting to put on makeup recently because I've been breaking the fuck out. I've been breaking out so bad. And it was before, it was before I got my period because normally, like, us girls, you know, when you get, um... Um, if you guys know want to know exactly like what I'm using, you could honestly, you could just check out one of my other videos and I have them, you'll see exactly what I'm using because I'm really not going to be telling you guys what I'm, oh shit, what I'm doing because, um, my makeup routine is pretty basic and I do the same shit over. Is this fucking hair? That's hair. But yeah, I do the same thing over. So if you want like me doing my makeup makeup, I'll probably link it. I probably won't because I'll probably forget. But you can go on my channel and you'll see like me having like a makeup routine. I already moisturized my face and everything. So don't worry about that. But yeah, like my face has been breaking out. I know you guys can't see it now because I already put on like my foundation or whatever. But like I know you guys can see like right here and like my forehead like it's. I don't know. I thought it was just because it was that time of the month, but it came way before then. And quick little um thing about me. Um, half of my face is, if you have watched like my makeup videos, like half of my face is um darker than my this side. And that's because it just is like I was born with a birthmark. Or I guess birthmark. I don't know how to really like explain it. But like half of my face has always been darker than this side so if anybody was curious to why because i feel like someone like because i notice it but obviously because i was born with it obviously i would notice it but if you guys were wondering like in some angles why half of my face is darker than the other that's why it's because i was born that way half of my face was darker than the other and i have more weird shit honestly but i'm not gonna tell y'all I'm gonna tell y'all my little business, but yeah, like half of my face was well, it is darker than my last. Like, it don't really bother me because it's not like too too extreme. It's not like too too extreme because I know I know I've seen some people where like half their face is literally like a whole nother complexion. So, like, mine isn't like that bad to the point where like it would bother me or anything. So, but I do realize it or whatever. But I really don't know what the hell people be talking about on these shit. Like, I would talk about, like, my life. But honestly, I haven't been doing shit. Oh, quick little, um, not update. But, like, um, if you guys don't know, I do have a, um, I do have, like, a small business. Um, I am having a sale. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video. So, I won't know if it'll be posted by the time the sale is still going on probably because it's going to be a whole month long but um i am going to have like a march madness sale on my thing i'll post the flyer right here but yeah it's like a march madness where like everything on my site will be mad cheap so make sure you guys check that i'll leave my um thing down below if you guys want to check that out and want to grab anything because it's gonna be mad cheap it's gonna be kind of be like a clearance sale because i want to get rid of everything so i can um bring in like a new inventory so 
So yeah. But yeah, um, I did want to say um, I don't know if you guys read my um, my little community tab. Obviously, not that much. Yo, my nose hairs is mad long. But I don't know if you guys read my like thing. I mean, obviously, probably not. But I did reach three k. I'm so psyched about that. Honestly, I actually did reach it um faster than I thought I was. And honestly, I probably could have been further than that than um in YouTube because I have been doing YouTube for like a year and a half now. But then I actually just started being consistent like recently. And like when I tell you guys being consistent, it shows like because because when I tell you guys I've been like gaining like 10 to 15 subscribers a day, which is like crazy. And now I actually have like, you know like three three thousand i think now it's like a little bit over three thousand subscribers which is kind of crazy i know it might not like sound like that much to some people but like to me that's a lot because when i first started i really didn't think anybody was gonna watch my shit because i really didn't know what the hell i was gonna record about but but yeah like now i have 3k like when i tell you guys like i see the vision for youtube I see the vision for YouTube, um, and I'm just going to continue being consistent. Me, I always say, like, if someone is thinking about doing YouTube, I would highly suggest, like, oh, my God, I'm doing the wrong fucking thing. See, this is why I don't talk and do my makeup at the same time. But, yeah. But, um, but like, I would highly suggest for people to do YouTube, and not even for the money-wise, because, honestly, I'm not even getting paid that much. Like, I could probably cover like one bill with that with the income that I get but um just start YouTube just to do it like if it's something you always wanted to do like do it because um like YouTube can open so many doors for you and it can it can just like what's the word it can I don't know like I think I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but, like, YouTube can really, like, open doors for you. So, like, I would highly suggest you do YouTube and stuff, even though, like, in the beginning, it might not be, like, not that much, you know, like, people subscribe to you and stuff like that. Because, honestly, that's really not how it's going to be because people are really not going to be, like, even, like, friends and family and shit aren't really gonna, like, you know, subscribe to your channel. But, honestly, you just got to continue supporting yourself. Because you got to be your number one supporter because when no one is, bitch, you got to. So, but yeah, like I would highly suggest do YouTube because like I really like doing videos even though sometimes I'd be like, oh, I'm here showing my peas. Even though sometimes I like don't be knowing what to post sometimes. But overall, like I really love doing YouTube and like I said, it still is pretty beneficial to you and stuff. So I would highly suggest it. If you want to do it, do it. And me and my sister recently um bought a, a camera together. I had a camera before to do YouTube, but then I kind of didn't know how to use it. So I kind of sold it. But this time, I'm very determined. I'm going to learn how to use that freaking camera. And we're going to start having, like, better quality. Even though, like, the quality now isn't, like, that bad. But I, I really want my quality of my videos to be, like, more in-depth and stuff like that. And also, like, when I go out and, like, I want to vlog. I don't know if I want to start doing vlogging things yet. But, like, when I want to vlog, I can, like, take out my camera and stuff like that and be, like, official. Yeah, be, like, official or whatever. So, but, yeah, like, I think my next, my first vlog is actually going to be me getting a facial because I scheduled a um what are they called micro micro needling facial next 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 week Friday I think because like I said I told you guys I have been breaking out I don't know why but I've been breaking out badly and also like I have really bad hyperpigmentation so so it's gonna help for that too so I'm probably going to vlog that. Like, let me know if you guys would like to see stuff like that. But I am going to be doing that. But, yeah, like, what do people talk about in this shit? Like, I mean, like, we can talk about my life. Like, what I've been going through right now. Because, 
it's not like i haven't really been going through anything but like lately i've been mad lazy it's like i lost like momentum i had hello momentum momentums momentum before but like now i just got mad lazy and stuff like i want to tell you guys this story but like it's still kind of fresh it's still kind of fresh so i don't even know like if i want to put shit out there i mean i doubt that he watches my shit but actually let me tell you guys anyway since i really have nothing to talk about but it's basically but yeah i don't have anything to talk about so whatever let's let's you know talk about it but um just like in the dating the dating world or whatever i don't know like lately it's just been very shitty like i've been having like bad i've been having like bad which i'm call it with like guys recently like i'm not even from the front i actually did go on like one good date but and he was pretty nice he was pretty nice but i'm just like mm. i don't know i don't really think like he's my type i see him more oh, he's probably gonna watch this video oops well no one knows who he is anyways but like he was really nice but i don't know i see him more of like a friend and like after i went out after i went through what i went through like i really i'm really not in the mood to like get into anything serious so but yeah but like he was pretty nice and stuff like that so but but besides that like lately it's been mad shitty like i just recently stopped talking to this person like at this point he was a fuck nigga like i stopped talking to this this nigga or he stopped talking to me like i don't know how to explain it but when i tell you guys if i tell you guys this story you guys would be like what the fuck because you wouldn't know what the fuck like happened like because i don't know but just know let me like start from the beginning should i make this a separate um i think i should make it like a separate um story time like let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to hear this story time about this fuck nigga because um i don't want this video to be like too long because when i do stories like i like going in depth but yeah like i'll probably make that a separate video a separate video like let me know shut up <laughs> let me know if you guys would want like to have that story time in the comments down below let me know but it was a pretty shitty situation where it was just like it would have you like blown like like did this nigga really like did that shit but let me know in the comments oh shit yeah i like mixing my um i like mixing my powders i like using the translucent extra cover air spun and then the banana banana powder and deep I like the like color it gives me so but yeah but yeah it was a pretty shitty situation like at this point um i'm kind of taking a break from guys because guys ain't shit but like i notice like most of the time like where when i'm not paying like that much attention to guys i am more um how you say i'm more like motivated to do like other things and i feel it's just because bitch i'm about to shit on these niggas like like bitch next time you see me next time you come around which i know they probably would but like next time they come around bitch i'm gonna be like yep i shit it on your ass you had your chance because me i'm the type of person where you literally only get like one chance well then again i did let this person have like two chances but yeah but overall you only get like one chance with me because i don't believe in like I don't believe in like giving these people all these chances because bitch that one chance should have been it for you and you should have done it right the first time but but yeah i don't really believe in like second chances and shit like that but oh i should have done this to to have my shit more whatever but yeah but like i don't know but lately like i've really been trying to be on my shit because what else can you do honestly because right now if y'all didn't know i am in school and it's pretty shitty where is my I'm looking for my thing but like yeah i'm i'm at, i'm in school still right now 
I honestly don't know when I'm graduating. I think it should be like next. I think it's going to be like next year, like 2021. I think that was my year that I am supposed to be graduating. <gasps> oh my God, I forgot something. How do people do this shit? Like have me here forgetting things. But yeah, like I'm supposed to be graduating in um 2021. And it's supposed to be in... What is that thing called? It's supposed to be in communications. Um, I honestly didn't know what to major in, honestly. And because I really don't care about college, you guys. I'm only going because I already put in like two years. Well, I think, yeah, two and a half years. So I'm just like, it'd be pretty dumb for me to just stop while I'm like, you know, basically done. Yeah. Let's cover up this double chin. Ugh. Ugh, excuse me. That's probably why I don't have a nigga right now. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like, it would be pretty stupid for me to stop. And also, like, I don't really have no set thing right now to, you know, be doing. So I'm just like, I I might as well just, you know, finish. But honestly, I just started going to, um, I went to college for my mother, honestly, because I am Haitian. And you guys know how Caribbean parents are. They always want you to, you know, they basically want to live their life through you. But I don't know. But I did like come to the conclusion where I'm just like, okay, I know I don't. This is not something that I want to do in the future. I do have a college, the first year college experience on my um thing. If you guys want to check that out or whatever. But you guys, college is dead but i don't know i just realized that maybe i should have just went to cosmetology school because i really enjoy going to cosmetology school you guys like i just want to do so much things like it's ridiculous like i like i like real estate i like like the real estate i like anything that relates to beauty like i like doing this which is like you know just like doing youtube and stuff which is pretty fun to me like, I like doing things like that. Like, me, I'm, I never see as in, like, you know, putting yourself in a box to only doing one thing. Like, you should never limit yourself to just doing one thing, which is, like, really, I don't know how people do it. Because I would have, I would have went crazy, honestly. But some people are just, like, you know. That's why most people take like communications as a major in college because communication is just like, it's like something that, you know, it's like you can do so many things with it. So that's why most people take like communications, but as in like job wise, I don't know what job I can honestly get with that. But you know, we, we finishing anyways, but I really am thinking about going to cosmetology school because I like doing that. I don't like doing makeup for people. But I am. I am finna start doing, um, what is it? I am finna start, like, put applying wigs and stuff for people. Because I kind of like doing it. And it will be another source of income. So why not? Because I stopped working. I stopped working, like, I think two months ago two months ago and honestly I stopped working not just to become like you know a full-time like entrepreneur but basically like to take a break because um this working thing just be blowing me like people at like like jobs be blowing me and I just had to take a break from these people because like these people had me all the way fucked up they had me all the way fucked up and I was just like you messaged me not important but yeah like they had me fucked up so i had to take some time and you know get myself together Fuck. but then again what i realized with that time off like that i did have i realized like i became so lazy like literally what i would do I wanted to do like a day in a life, but then I realized a day in a life would literally be me staying up till like 6 a.m. watching Netflix, um, wake up around 3 p.m. and 
I used while well, I was going to the gym, I kind of stopped a little bit. Um, eat, watch some more Netflix, walk around the house, literally stay in my bed, and that's kind of it. Like when I tell you guys, my life is mad boring. It's boring as fuck. I kind of right now I kind of miss working because I'm always the type of person I don't like being like stationary. I don't like being like you know staying in one place i always want to do something and yeah so like i took my break off from working but now i'm ready to go back to work because um you guys i'm here with my mother my mom stays home and i have to see her face every day and yeah no I need to see different people and I feel like that's also like my problem it's like I want like a nigga like I want to go like I want a nigga I want to go on dates and stuff like that but I don't go out so like who exactly am I like supposed to meet inside my room in my house like I guess the mailman that like delivers my shit or something I guess that's who I'm like thinking is gonna you know be my mans but I don't know. I just need to go out more and just see see different people, meet different people, like go out to eat. Like one thing I was trying to do is like start going out to eat by myself, but bitch, I was scared. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I was telling my friend, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like talk to myself, like be on my phone or something? Because I don't know. I don't know. But yes, I'm about to do my brows, so I'm going to get off and then get back on real quick, so hold on yeah i can't believe how long it took me to do my brows but it's like do they look even i don't know for some reason they look mad uneven to me like what y'all think i don't know it's like i have be having like good brow days and then bad brow days and today them shits okay my mom need to leave me alone but some days they just be looking uh, and right now they look at uh, I don't know. Let me know how they look in the comments because these shits look whack as fuck. But anyways, but if you guys do want like an eyebrow tutorial thing, you got I do have one again on my channel already. So again, y'all could check that out if y'all would like or oh, whatever. But what was I saying? Because yeah, I forgot what I was rambling about. But anyways, but like right now, as in like a life update, I feel like because I'm 21. Right now, I feel like I'm like stuck in, I'm like in my life is in a rut right now. Oh my God, I fucked up. You guys just look so bad. Yeah, this look bad. Hold on. Oh my god, this looks so bad. Fuck. You guys, what do y'all think? This look ugly as shit. <laughs> this is why I don't do fucking wings. But anyways. I feel like I'm making it worse. What y'all think? Oh my god, they look mad fat. Anyways. Fuck my life. <laughs> At this point, this is gonna have to do whatever. But anyways, but like I was saying, like I'm 21 and I feel like right now I'm just in a rut. Or you could say like my life is like kind of like on standstill because. I'm like in between, like I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, what am I supposed to be doing in this world? Like, like I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. So like, I'm trying to figure that out, which kind of puts me like in a rut. 
and it makes me become very like unproductive i know i'm not the only one that probably be feeling like this and like and like my age range like it's like you're only 21 but you feel like your time is literally ticking your time is ticking and you just don't have and you're running out of time that's how i feel right now you guys my freaking my line my liner look like trash fuck it looks so ugly anyways but i don't know i'm just stuck in a rut and lit that's why i feel like that's why all i do now is just get up eat watch netflix and then repeat that's literally my life but but then again like i just gotta i sit there and i just think i'm just like i'm only 21 like don't rush anything whatever god is meant to whatever you're meant to be doing it will happen so like don't really rush rush anything because if it was meant to be it will be basically but but yeah but like i feel like my life is just like because in my book i wanted to like get married by like 25 travel for like two years with my husband what else and then when i'm like 20 like 28 ish i would have like a kid you know but like from the looks of it honestly i feel like bitch i'll be lucky if i get married in my 30s bitch like i really feel like i'm not gonna get married in no 25 like let me not speak that into existence because your mouth is very powerful and i don't want to put that into the existence because yeah i really want to get married in like my 20s But yeah, like, I don't know. But I feel like that's what a lot of, like, you know, 20-year-olds and stuff go through, which is, I don't even want to say depression because, bitch, I'm not a thing to diagnose anything. But, like, I've seen this happen to, like, um kids that, like, you know, come home from college and stuff or, like, they don't finish college and they just have, like, post-college depression, which is, I really didn't know that was a real thing, but it is. But yeah, like you can have post college depression, but I didn't really finish college yet, so I don't know what that's about, but it's a real thing, like so I'm pretty sure I know like whatever funk this is, it's like only temporary and it's like normal, so I'm really like trying not to stretch it. Stretch it, stress it. So well yeah, if you are going through this funk, just know. It's so normal. Everybody in their mama, well, everybody in that age range is going through this. Y'all, I'm outlining my lips so ugly. Um, if you guys, because a lot of people ask, a lot of people, bitch, you're not that, that popping. But, like, a few people been asking, like, my lip combination. Y'all, honestly, I just get whichever. And these are literally lip and eyeline pencils. Yeah, like they're either lip or eyeline pencils and I literally any brown color I get them. I get it and I outline my lip depending on what mood I'm in. I would either just wear one of my clear glasses which is in my um on my website. I wear my one of my clear lip, lip glosses with the brown liner. Or I'll get my e.l.f. Um, lip plumper. I don't know what color. And peach bellini. And I'll mix it with NYX's fortune cookie. And that's literally what my lip combination is. Like, it's nothing serious. But I tried doing the, um, the lip gloss thing. Not the lip gloss thing the like what are they called lipstick thing and i just couldn't get with it oh my god bitch i forgot about my fucking lashes yo they probably not even gonna stick anymore 
Uh, are you going to stick? Or do I have to do you over? I always be forgetting about my lashes, bro. I probably should have wore some bigger ones to hide my horrible ass um wing liners, but yo, and then this girl I went to the restaurant one time and I kinda did my um wing liner similar to this and she was like, Oh my god, your lashes I mean your eyeliner is popping. Like how do you get it so good? Now I feel like this hoe was fucking lying to me. Like this hoe must have been lying because my wing liner be trash as fuck. And she had me hype. Hype thinking my shit is really that good. And she was most definitely lying. But today I'm finna. Oh my god. This... Yo, their lip gloss smells so fucking good. There's something in my eye. bitch you're you're getting put together but you guys see how like now you can't really see how shitty how shitty your eyeliner is just put on some lashes bitch if you have shitty eyeliner just put on some like big fluffy lashes and bitch you'll be get to go you'll be get to go yeah, this um thing was probably like fucking fail. But I'll probably just do it again anyways cuz y'all made time pass by a little quicker. Yeah, it'll definitely make it did make time go by faster, so. But if you guys have any more topics for well, if you guys have any topics for me to talk about minus the story time that I said I was going to tell you guys, um let me know in the comments down below like what topics you guys would want me to talk about because I don't have that much story time because bitch my life is boring and I really don't do much with my life so but yeah I should probably wash my fucking hands because this look crazy this actually didn't turn it out as bad as I thought it was bitch I look cute like I said sometimes I will just put on some clear lip gloss because I really do like I really like a clear I meant my lip look y'all see it I love it when it I love it I love it when it does that like stick together look I don't know but if it is too much I go like this because it be going in my fucking teeth and shit be making me walk around looking crazy but but yeah, like if you guys have any topics for me to talk about in my next one, because I'm probably going to do these at least like once a week. Don't hold me to that, but I'll probably do it once a week. But bitch, y'all look cute. But yeah, like leave it down below and and yeah. And honestly, you guys, if you are 21 and you just you're in a fucking funk, just keep going because just keep going find something to do like go to the gym like just i don't know like read some books because that's what i'm honestly gonna try to do to get myself out of this funk because i do want to be more consistent like i don't want to just sit and like be on like you see that i'm on youtube or on netflix i, I don't want to do that shit like i want to be productive i want to get some shit done and stuff like that and i actually need to start going out more because me sitting in this house makes it even worse so i would highly suggest like go out with your friends or even if you have to go out by yourself do it because you staying in like the house and stuff like that actually makes it worse so but yeah um this is the finished look i hope you guys liked it this is literally my everyday makeup look but but yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you, you guys, for 3K. I will be doing a giveaway soon. I'm not sure what I want to give away, but but yeah, thanks thanks for 3K. Keep it going. Like next goal is 5K, and then after that is 10K. So yeah, but thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.